for some reason, yeah. it shows the fucking uh, mirror on screen, but my, my screen doesn't get reported, so. Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, we don't really care. So. Alright, cool. That's all I needed to know. I'm trying to get some fucking beer tonight. That's all I'm saying. After this tournament, we're going to hit up the bar, get some drink. But in the meantime, we get some smash. We got to play a children's party game. Ooh, yo, this is sick. I like this. Looks like we're going right into the action. So we got Poke Out and Moonboy Josh for the first stream match of the night. We got uh, we're gonna get some Shoryu's and some Buster Bladers in action. Two contenders. Two really good. I know uh, Poke Out, a uh, young buck. One of the one of the younger people in here. I remember from the Smash Four days. And uh, Moonboy Josh is straight away from the Dark Salmon and is now fully, fully realized his potential using Ken now. Ooh, sick backer right there. Gonna be activating the uh, limit form for, for poke out. Ooh, re-grab ledge, but no punish. Gonna give him a cross slash for his troubles. Adds his back with the Tatsu. Ooh, just a little too antsy with that backer. Didn't reach. Oh, he's trying to burst shield. Oh, not a punish. Uh, I think he was trying to go uh, up and try to do another move, but somehow just got a fully charged down smash instead. Okay, trying to mix up recovery here. Kept his double jump, and he's making it fine. But back air is going to seal the deal for that first stock. Ooh, just burns out the limit cross slash right there. This could be a chance for Moonboy Josh to even up the stocks. And right there with the down smash, that's not going to be enough for Klaus to make it back. Very nice awareness. Moonboy Josh, though, showing up with the foot. He says, Atatsumaki Sabukyo. Okay, no power, uh, no parry on that part, so no punish. Oh, but he's going to be, he's going to be using the footsies. Oh, parry the last hit looking like Daigo out here. Okay, I see you. Oh, but nice upbeat right there from Poke Out. Okay, trying to play some Street Fighter using a crouching, <laughs> crouching, <laughs> crouching medium kick into, into Hadouken. Trying to make it safe, but no dice. Okay, uses a very good focus out there, but focus is not going to do much against Cross Slash as it is a multi hit move. Oh, I think he was trying to go for a high, like the low profile from the back air was actually enough for him to not reach. But, oh, the cross ups! Not working out in Moonboy Josh's favor. Poke out, gonna take advantage of that. Poking away at the shield, keeping true to his namesake, Poke out. Okay, oh no, that was a missed opportunity for a limit cross slash right there from Poke out. He's gotta make the most out of this, as limit is only gonna be available for a limited time. It's gonna be running out quite shortly as Moonboy Josh is trying to uh, time it out. But he burns it right there with a clean, clean cross blade right there into a back air, raw back air. Oh, that's going to do it. Okay, nice and air coming from Moonbird Josh. Even up the stocks once more. A little bit of a deficit in the percentage, but this could be easily worked out. Oh, he's going to even it up. Almost, almost even it up right there. Oh, no, the focus attack was supposed to in the wrong way, though. But just a little bit more attacks, and Moonbird Josh can actually even out the percentages. Not too far back of a deficit. This is still anyone's game right now. Oh, but Lemon is online. Got to be careful here when you're at the ledge against Cloud because he can, anything with Glimmer Cross Slash right there, can you tech? No, you cannot. And that's going to be game one going to Poke Out. Really solid stuff coming from Poke Out. Using Cloud's limits to the best of his ability. Very, very nice play. Looks like we're going to Final Destination for the counter pick. And Poke Out, I don't believe he plays any other character outside of Cloud, if I'm not mistaken. And Josh is looking to stick with the Ken. Unless he has something else on his mind. And he's thinking. Yeah, it will be the Ken. Okay. Game two, we're going to FD. And here we are. So now we're not going to be working with any platforms. So this will be good for both. This will be much better for Josh, though, because there won't be any platforms to retreat to once once Josh gets his uh, combo game going. Oh, try to get a punish off of it, but just got the close, uh, close jab. 
or clo uh, close strong. Okay, tries to follow up with a jump, but uh, it is a combo string, not an actual true combo right there, so poke out, taking advantage of that. Oh, burns the limit cross slash and actually has enough recovery landing to be able to punish. At the moment. Oh, trying to break shield. And that's death right there. Yep. Up tilt Shoryu. Going to be the classic. Okay, cross slash again. A great answer to focus attack because you cannot do uh, multiple hits. You can't absorb all of them. Good dash attack right there. Not taking him out just yet. Okay, double jump to try to, try to mix up a landing right there. Okay, going in one more. Oh, he actually runs up and does an up tilt instead. Okay, that was a little risky, but it paid off because the punish was not there. Okay. Still keeps his double jump. Very nice. Good awareness on Moonboard Josh. Trying to make sure he doesn't burn his double jump against Cloud because uh, the recovery is very limited for both these characters. Oh, that's death right there. Okay, very clean double down tilts into the kick. I forget what the name of the kick is called, but it is a strong AF. Oh, try to seal it right there. Oh, I think he might have done a double jump. Oh, no, he kept it. Okay, and sadly, Poka had to burn his there. Oh, that's it. Yep. Jab into Shoryu will seal the deal. And that's a three-star coming from Moonboy Josh. Answering, clapping back, no less. So yeah, like I said, Final Destination was the best choice for Moonboy Josh there because the lack of platforms. Not much to do when you have nowhere to retreat outside of the ledges. Okay, and the counter pick will be Town City this time. This is actually much better for Pokeout because now we can actually work with platforms here, even if they are limited. All right, switching up the colors, going to Black Can this time. Trying to channel his own Satsui no Hado, even though it's not exclusive to uh, Ken at all. And already 32% right off the bat with the full string. Okay, actually makes it safe with the uh, Hado. Uh, I don't think Pokai was expecting that option at all. Okay, phases through the platform, actually mixing up the landing right there. Very good awareness. Okay, double up air, the Cloud Special. The Smash 4 Classic, as we like to say. Oh, wow, that was actually really interesting interaction right there. Okay, now the platform is going away. Oh, he actually tried to land onto the platform as it was moving out, but he actually just air dodged down, so he has to use the limit right there. But not going to be a big deal as Pokeout just cleans it up with a back air. Okay, down tilt to get away from the positioning right there. Okay, yeah, th like these platforms are coming in uh, really, really nicely for Pokai right now because he can just like retreat and just have to charge limit as much as he wants to, forcing Moonboy Josh to make the approach. Okay, right there, trying to get a back air into a forward tilt, trying to land the combo, but just was at a low percent enough for him to recover. Oh, there's the shield break, and he's gone. That's the, that's the Ken Classic right there. If you're on the ledge, your shield will be broken. A okay, good push out right there to make sure that he won't recover. Okay, there you go. Actually baiting out the spot dodges right there by using down tilts and at the ledge. Oh, he tries to seal it right there. Almost gets the dunk right there. Okay, yeah. Maybe not committing to too many options is both Moomor Josh and Poke Out. Both trying to stay at each other's toes. <laughs> Quite literally speaking. Okay, up tilt. Oh, sorry. Up air coming through. Oh, actually punishes, but... The cross up right there, it was not enough. And that's a tilt, yep. Up tilt into jab Shoryu. That's gonna seal it for sure. Oh, but a four tilt, actually. Okay, he kept his double jump. I, I was a little afraid that he actually just burned it right there. Okay, Moonboy Josh is just prattling at the shield right now. Coming through with a fair, up tilt. Up, sorry, up air into Nair. Okay, limit is online once more for Pokat, but the the Hadouken actually made him trip, so it gave Moonboy Josh enough time for him to recover. Okay, all this extra percent is racking up for Moonboy Josh, and he still has two stocks to poke out one. Oh, very good backer, though. As passe it is to say, nice backer in these parts. Uh, that was actually a very nice backer from poke out. And now he has to make up all the lost percentage that he dealt from the second stock. 
Oh, but he's at the ledge right now, and up tilts are coming through, and just anything could kill right now from Ken. Koka has a lot to work with here, and he's like, Moonboy Josh is on the aggression right now. Oh, but that, that cross, oh, not cross slash, sorry, blade beam right there. Actually going to put in a good chunk of percent. Forward air. Okay, forward air, back air, roar, nice. Okay, Pokeout's time to shine right now. He has actually made the comeback in percentage. Any hit now can do it. Oh, and there it is. Oh, no, but it was just out of reach. And there it is, the follow-up Shoryu after up tilt jab. Very nice showing from Moonboy Josh. Very close game. Very, very close game. But Moonboy Josh is able to take it out with that uh, up tilt jab Shoryu. That is the, the Ken staple, as we like to call it here. Very nice showing. Wow, that was a that was quite a first set of the night. Honestly, I'm looking forward to more more sets like that if it gets down to the wire. Such such good competition going on tonight. Honestly, it like it makes me proud to say that NorCal as a region has been really showing up lately. Right now, as we're waiting, 